Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about this here, which is the GT2 Pro from Realme. It's a mobile phone, I'm gonna read out some specs to you. It is a, it's got a 2K super reality display, uh, paper tech master design, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 platform, 50 megapixels plus 50 megapixels dual primary camera. In this video, we'll go through some of the camera modes that are on the phone and I'll edit them with my presets. I've got a link to my presets in the description. If you enter into the presets, if you go and buy a preset, you get a one-on-one -on -one session via Zoom with me. You also get entered into a giveaway with 65,000 pounds. And if you don't believe me, head down, check them out, read the caption and you'll understand. Okay, so walking down this alleyway, down the end, there's like an opening. Um, and I think if I can get someone in the middle of that it would look really cool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come forward a little bit more to about here. I'm gonna be on the photo mode on the app. I'm gonna tap in the middle. So the exposure's in the middle down there. And bam. Sweet, that was very easy. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to wait ages for someone to walk past, but there we go. In we go. Straight, thank you very much. That one's edited with my preset. So there's another really cool shot of these guys on the other side of the street. We're going to do it in landscape. And turn off HDR. They all look terribly hard at work, it's great. Okay, so the shot that I'm going to get here is a reflection with this puddle down here of the archway. So we've got it on the normal photo mode at 24 mil. I'm going to come down just here, like so. I'm holding up a van now, but he can wait. Now the next mode that we're going to look at in the phone is the 150 degree mode, which is a super wide angle lens and it's really, really impressive. Okay, so to showcase the 150 degree mode on this phone, I'll come to this location, which is near Covent Garden, which is gonna, it's pretty trippy with the 150 degree. It's an amazing place to come and do portrait shots in London, but just to show you, just to show you how cool this feature is, we're gonna tap down the bottom to get the exposure down there, and then wait for someone to walk through the frame. Waiting, waiting, that'll do. Okay, sweet. So we're gonna tap in the background, drag down to get the right exposure. And we're gonna take a shot probably about there. That's really nice actually. So there's also this really cool mode on here as well, which is called, where is it? It's like a macro lens, which is pretty insane. So it's called microscope. So we go on that and you're supposed to get really close to an item, let's say this wood, and then you just slightly raise it up like this and then it illuminates whatever you've got in, like next to the camera with a tiny little light. Oh, that's crazy, that's so like detailed. Let's see what we can find. Sorry, just a side little tangent from street photography. Oh my God, that's pretty insane. Like the, it's, it's kind of weird, but like it's, there's such a small margin where you can kind of war that is actually insane okay so on the screen is a photo of that tiny little thing all the way in there look at that that detail is insane that's that i'm literally i'm actually shocked at how insane that is what i'd be so sick if there was like a tiny little bug there sorry back to street photography but that's pretty insane okay so there's another street shot here which is pretty sick Dude just sat down. Okay, we're gonna go photo, 24 mil, get the uh, door in the center frame, like so. That's actually really nice. Okay, so before we head back up to Piccadilly area, we get a landscape shot here, which was that one, which was nice and simple. There we go, okay. We're gonna move up towards Piccadilly. We're gonna walk down this way and head up uh, there is the National Gallery here and actually just to the right of the National Gallery with the sun as it is There's a nice pocket of light that we can normally get a nice street shot in So we're gonna get that one first and then head back up to Piccadilly to try out that fisheye lens that I've been speaking about Okay, so this is the location I was talking about that's really good for uh, The street shot that I want to get so if we go to the other side of this kind of like archway Through this like this bit here the walkway and face back towards us and then wait for somebody to walk 
through this frame, it will look really nice. Okay, so I've got two people walking through the frame now. So I'm just going to wait and hopefully, I think we go back a little bit more. Oh, that's actually a sick shot. Oh, did I get the right timing? I think so, I think it's all right. Okay, so we've got it on the fisheye effect. We're going to get this bus here, hopefully before the light goes green. Looks kind of trippy. It's so weird, like, I can't tell if I like it or not. It's, it's definitely a weird shot. I can't say I've ever taken a shot like it before. But let me know in the comments, what do you do, what do you think? I mean, it, it's kind of like that miniature planet thing that you can do in like 360 modes and stuff. But it's, it's not, it's, it's weird, but I like it. And I think that's, I'll stick with that. It's weird, but I like it. Okay, so before we jump into the hashtag, I want to look at the last kind of um, feature that they have in Merge, which is 3D photo. So I'm going to wait for one of the buses to pull up here and kind of show you it. It's kind of cool. So it creates a, a moving image. So let's have a look. Let's take a shot of this bus. So it's capturing, 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 and then it's done. And then it, it kind of it gets all of the information from the image and then kind of slowly pans out from the image to give it that kind of 3D effect. I don't know, it's kind of cool, kind of gimmicky, but again, it's weird, but I like it. Okay, so since uh, Realme have sent this over to me, uh, I headed out into the city a couple of times and to, to look at some of the shots I could get, maybe doing some lookup shots with that 150 degree, and then also trying to kind of work out how I could use that, that fisheye effect. It's a very different kind of effect. I understand where they're trying to go with it. It's very creative, and I think maybe in like the heart of a city, like uh, New York City or something, you could probably get some really cool shots of some taxis, maybe even doing some lookup shots which I might try in the future, which you'll see here on this channel. Now, over on Instagram, we're posting a reel fairly soon of some of the lookup shots that I got, and you've seen some of the B-roll and, and kind of things that I did with, uh, with Oscar recently. It was great to go out and shoot with this phone. Um, honestly, all in all, I like it. I've used it for some of my back-end stuff, i.e. doing some emails and having it as a second device to organize myself and it's been really useful. So there's a link to it down in the description if you want to go and check it out. Read through some of the specs. It's a great design and also it came with a nice case. So, I mean, we're gonna jump into the hashtag and see what you guys have been shooting over the last couple of days. Okay, the hashtag is up to 322,000 posts. If you wanna get featured on the channel, you can use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram. You just put it in your caption and it shows up on the hashtag. We're gonna to go to the most recent. We're gonna do a little screen record, screen record, screen refresh. And we're gonna go from there. We're gonna do like maybe three or four shots of maybe some street vibes going on. We'll go with, uh, this one here is really nice. I love that you, there's, there's no subject in the frame, but you can kind of see that there was someone just about to come around the corner because of the reflection. But I don't know if that's a reflection of a person or maybe something that like a sign on the, on, I don't know. Regardless, it would be cool if there was a subject in the frame, but I like the shot nonetheless. Going down a bit more, we'll go with, um, do, 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 do. This one's a really nice shot. The like the complete like openness of this shot. It's so well like com composed, and the fact that the the subject, the girl, is like in between that tiny like slither of light. It's such a great shot. Um, going down a bit more, and we'll go with ooh, so many great shots. Like, let's just take a second. Like, these are all really, really, really good shots. Um, and we'll go with. I like this. So it's a bit of a simple kind of cityscape shot, but I really like it. There's nothing like, um, it's, you haven't got any subjects or any, anything, anything in there, but the, the reflection, I really like. I love the colors. It actually reminded me of a shot that I did in Brisbane ages ago, like three, like, oh God, how long ago was that? I was like 2016 I did that shot. Um, going down, we'll do two more. Let's do two more. We'll go with this one here, which is a nice snowy shot in uh, Ontario. Ontario, is that how you say it? I think it is. And then we'll do one more of this one, which is a bus shot. I love like the the person on the, the is that a ski lift? It's in Austria, but I don't know if it's a ski lift or a bus. But the, the light just kind of covering half of that person's face 
is really nice. Again, if you want to get featured on this channel, use the hashtag Optical Wonder. And then also, that just went really dark. Why did it go so dark? If you do want to get featured on this channel, use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram. Um, and yeah, go and check out the phone below if you want to have a look at it. The link is down there. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. With all that being said, create more stress less. Go buy my presets. Link in the description. £9.99 could potentially win you something big.